Hi, I am Danica, and I'm a senior at UMass Amherst. Hi, my name is Adam Eaton, and I'm a junior at UMass Amherst. Hi, my name is Arden Carvalho, and I'm a sophomore at UMass Amherst. Hi, my name is Justin Bork, and I am a senior at UMass Amherst, and together we are the Climate Crew. For our environmental leadership project, we chose to travel to the Nelson Homestead in Deerfield, Massachusetts, where we were able to help manage the land around the homestead and learn about Wally and Juanita's life and what they believed in and what they fought for. When we first arrived at the homestead, we were greeted by our community partners, Chris, Aaron, Bob, and Betsy. These individuals welcomed us like we were already part of their family and started the day by explaining briefly what this place is and what it meant to each of them. We then moved into the house and were able to do a little exploring on our own. Throughout the house, there were pictures and articles on the amazing lives of Wally and Juanita Nelson, but those just scratched the surface of what they accomplished. We were first introduced to the people who spend their free time working at the homestead. They told us a little about themselves and the property they dedicate their time and efforts to. We then separated into two groups on the homestead. One group began working on preparing a garden area to plant locally sourced garlic, the other group started chopping wood from trees that were cleared on the property. Not only did this help clean up around the area, but the wood is also used to heat the Nelson homestead in the winter months. Both of these tasks required some hard work and really provided some insight on a day in the life of the Nelsons. At lunchtime, we talked about what interested us in this project and why we wanted to volunteer for this one specifically. We listened to Bob, Aaron, Chris, and Betsy talk about how they met the Nelsons and how welcoming they were. Bob told us their history and how they started on their path of living sustainably. Chris and I had conversations about India, my home country, and about Mahatma Gandhi, who, just like the Nelsons, was against violence, paying taxes, and believed in sustainable living. After lunch, all of us worked together to clean up the area around the house. We stacked all of the wood that we chopped and we worked a clean pathway to the house and removed leaves from the roof. After that was all taken care of, we moved to the garlic beds to finally finish them up. We started with making holes in the ground six inches apart from each other in the beds. Once all of the holes were dug, we planted the garlic buds and we put manure on top of them and then covered up the holes. We put hay and some leaves on top and around the beds so na no animals could get into it and that weeds wouldn't grow and get in the way of the garlic. Our definition of civic engagement is groups of people or individuals working on something important that addresses issues that plague our lives. We think it's important because not everyone realizes that it's important to serve their community. There are so many issues that affect everyone and if at least some people are able to address them, then maybe more people will get involved.